Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be uh, doing a tutorial on a hyperslide. If you need any plugins, uh, I'll leave my Discord in the description or it'll be on screen right now. And I'll send them over to you. So um, yeah, let's just get into it. So this is where we're going to be placing the hyperslide. So first we're going to grab all of our clips from top to bottom. And we're going to hold control. So you just want to hold control and click on every single clip. You want to press control C, copy it. Go to the top, control V, paste it. Make sure all your clips are aligned just like this. You want to select from top to bottom, control shift C and pre-comp it. You want to move it down to wherever you want to add the hyperslide to. And then you want to add S underscore random edits. Once you've done that, you want to change the edit frame length to one. And then you can trim all or trim all of the underclip as well. If you'd like. It really doesn't matter. Um, for here, we're going to add five one framers, so you can just add a new adjustment layer and cut it five times. So, like this. Two, three, four, five. Um, yeah. Also, I actually recommend having one more uh, on the other clip that you have, so we'll add one right here. Like the clip before the hyperslide. Okay, so for the clip for the hyperslide, you want to add minimax. Uh, you want to make it just horizontal in the direction and then crank this up to like 20, around 20 is what I do. You can also add directional blur or BCC directional blur if you want, but uh, I think I'll just leave it on this for now. And then for the first frame for the hyperslide, you want to add a um, S underscore stretch frames, stretch frame edges. And make sure to add motion tile onto your hyperslide clip. Sorry, I forgot to say that. Um, so now I have like weird edges. All right, but yeah. So for here, you just want to stretch it kind of a little bit. It just doesn't really matter. You don't have to go overboard with it. You also want to add displacement map onto it. Uh, place it on top of the uh, stretch frames. Put the max vertical displacement to zero, and then you can mess around with how much you want to displace this. Uh, I recommend maybe like 16, maybe not too much. 16, maybe 15. It really just depends on your clip. And then for the next frame, you're gonna want to add offset, and you want to drag it to the left a little bit. Um, kind of just depends on your preference. And then you want to keep copying like your offset after every single frame that you adjust it. So this time we'll move it like this so then we'll copy the one that we just did paste it onto the new frame move it a little bit again so as you can see it's a, it's like a gradual move you just want to keep moving it little by little so it's a little much and then the last one should be relatively like um, back to where we started somewhat like this and then from top to bottom, you want to select uh, the last four frames, Control copy Control c And then you want to go to the last frame, and then you just want to keep pasting until, you know, you reach the end of your, uh, like, the end of your hyperslide. Hyper Alright, so without any uh, other effects, this is what it should look like. Um, now you want to add in an another adjustment layer on top of your hyperzoom. Hyper slide, I keep calling it hyper zoom. Um, you just want to trim it until right here. You'll want to add mini max again, 20 or you know, whatever, whatever you think feels right. And add some BCC directional blur or normal directional blur and just mess around with the settings until you like them for your clip. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much the tutorial, so this is what it looks like. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, it's pretty easy. You could uh, you could get away with just not using Minimax. I think you would just have to turn up the blur a little bit more. But the Minimax adds like a nice little touch. Yeah, see, you don't really need um, Minimax, but Minimax is of course nice to have because of what it does. So. 